What's up? This is the review for the denim mache, or shorter known as mache, um, by Saturn. This is the latest shoe I've been working on. Um, so the idea here was that um, it's a shoe that I don't need to make a pattern for. So what I did, first of all, I've been experimenting with different lasts, um, shapes. So this one I made before is much more ovular on the top. Um, and I think that this shape works better because um, it extends the fabric out when you put your foot in. Um, it's just how the fabric will work once you put your foot in. It'll collapse these two down and bang these two out. So it'll be a little better fit around the foot. And I can attest that it fits pretty well. It's, it really grabs around the heel. Um, so yeah, starting with the last, I had a sock, um, a youth sock. So I put the sock over the last and then I used glue, so fabric glue, to cut up these pieces of denim of different colors from different pants I have. Um, and then just place them, place them on, wait for the glue to dry. And then once it dries, I take the last off out of the um, the shoe, the sock and denim mess, um, and there was it wasn't that bad. Not much glue penetrated through the sock and got stuck onto the last, so it wasn't that hard to take off. But once I took that off, I took it over to the sewing machine and I sewed just a couple rows of stitching, just to make sure everything was. Um, stitched on there and after that I took I wet the leather and that's the thing I learned I mean I still have a lot to learn with the leather but I boiled some water or I heated some water till it was steaming and I put the leather in it to just get it more warm um, or to get it more loose so I could put it over the last but it it <laughs> while it was in there it started getting really dark and warping in the water i didn't expect that um so i have to kind of I'm, I'm interested to see more i can learn about that but but i tried twice and this time i got it right where it was pliable enough but warm enough and not shrink i mean because that's the thing it begins to shrink when you leave it in the water too long so i did want to get some shrinkage while it was on here so i could get kind of this curve to get really nice and fitted as well as this uh, heel. I wasn't able to get it as stretched and curved and shrunk as, as I wanted. Um, it just seemed like it stopped trying. Like I, I left it in the oven at three, 225 for like an hour or so and it, it just wasn't shrinking anymore. It wasn't getting darker, it was just kind of chilling. So, but it was a pretty easy build overall. I mean, the, the design is, similar to the other um, leather teeth, as I call them, projects before. This one's a little different where it's kind of an inclining jag. Um, just trying to indicate more motion to it. Um, so it's inclining this side, this side is kind of declining backwards. So it's kind of like a circular motion. Attuned with the stitching. Um, this is the first time I've used a 3D printed button um, and it worked out pretty well. Just a freestanding button. Took an, uh, half an hour to make two of them, or three of them. So, turned out pretty well. It's clean. I like that, you know, this upper is pretty chaotic. But you just have this pure circular white shape with the logo. Just kind of tying everything together and just kind of giving, you know, far away visual identity. It's kind of clean, but you look up close, there's just a bunch going on. Um, so it's just kind of a mixing of two, and I think the color with the leather and the blue um, gradient works pretty well. Um, as well as the fraying. The fraying, I was kind of worried it would look too messy, but I think the fraying is kind of under control. And the nice thing about using the sock and mache method is that, you know, you already have your nice soft liner that's kind of moisture wicking without having to do an additional step of cutting and sewing a liner and not having to cut any patterns. Um, and the build was pretty quick. I mean, 
the last took me a day to build. So outside of that, I these took two days to build. And that's a pretty good, that's kind of the aim. That's the goal, being able to build a shoe in two days, whether I'm using leather or using synthetic CNC mold. Um, yeah, I think they came out well, very comfortable. I wore them to the sustainability awards for sustain charlotte got a couple compliments there so that was it and uh, i'll see you next time